perfect. Oi, pessoas. Tudo bem com você? Então, hoje eu vou falar sobre português phrases. Frases em português. Expressões populares em português. Populares. 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 It's hard. Okay, sorry. Muito difícil. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, earlier this week, I got you guys to send me some phrases in Portuguese via my Instagram. Um, if you were one of those people who sent me the phrases and you're featured in this video, then I would like you personally to comment and let me know exactly what it meant because... I'm probably not going to be able to get them all right and I want to know from you guys personally and particularly the people that I feature in this video exactly what they meant and yeah let's get straight to it before we start say inscrevi no meu canal da um likey commenta and compartilha e compartilha uh, follow me on Instagram, Fally Com Jake, if you haven't already, make sure you do that. And just, yeah, subscribe, the subscribe button's down there, press it and subscribe. First one, Akaba and pizza. Something about pizza, but obviously, uh, well, first of all, I don't know what that means. So, we're going to try and translate it. End up in pizza. It could be anyone's guess, maybe it means you end up in trouble, maybe... It means, I don't know what it means. Yeah, end up in trouble, maybe? No idea. Basha a bola. Basha a bowl. Again, something about a ball. Let's translate. Download the ball. Download the ball. Download the ball. Football? I don't know. Something to do with like uh, focusing. We have an expression in English, keep your eye on the ball. And it means to keep your eye and focus on something, so like don't switch off. Maybe it's something similar to this, but probably not. Next one. Enfiar o pé na jaca. Something about a foot. Stick the foot in the jack for... Um, I don't know. Does it mean when you you say something you shouldn't have said? You, you opened your big mouth and you said something that insulted someone. We have an expression in English, put your foot in it. It means... It means that you you said something you shouldn't have done. Maria vai com as outras. Maria goes with others. Um, she's a traitor. She has betrayed her friends and she's not a trustworthy person. Maria is someone you cannot trust and she goes with others. She has no, no, uh, she is not a loyal person. Completely making this up and it's probably totally wrong. But that's my guess. Proximo nem que a vaca tosa. Something about a cow. But there's nothing about a cow in English. Not in a million years. Okay, so this is uh, an expression in English. Not in a million years means that you would never do something. Nem que a vaca tosa. But I don't know where vaca comes into this. Because I thought vaca was cow. And it is cow. Who knows? Okay, eh, um Pedro Brakem Takagado. Not gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea what that means, so I'm gonna get straight into it and put it into Google Translate. What is a fuck for those who shit? That's an interesting one. Okay, um Pedro Brakem Takagado. In English, what is a fuck for those who shit? How can I interpret this? I think like this would mean if you've like for example my when you've already done something wrong and you may as well just forget about it, like you've already done something wrong. For me, when I used to be late for school, if I was like, if I was gonna be five minutes late for school, I would just be like, I'm taking my time now because I'm already late, I'm gonna be in trouble for being late. So it doesn't matter if I'm 30 minutes late, 45 minutes late, I'm already late. And I think that this means something similar to that is you've already, <laughs> you've already shut yourself, you've already pooed yourself, so what's a fart now? It doesn't matter, you stink already. Amiga da onça. Let's get it into the translate and see what happens. Fake friend. Treat, cheated again, because obviously, I don't know how confident I can be with this. Maybe it's right, fake friend, but what can I say? Fake friend is fake friend. Amiga, that answer doesn't mean fake friend. 
I don't actually know. But it would make sense. Of the Jaguar. Jaguar, snake, maybe something like that. Jaguars are crafty little creatures, no? So, it's like a snaky friend, a fake friend. That's how I interpret it. Proximo o sujo falando tu mal lavado. Wash your mouth out. I, I've not even translated this one. Immediately I think of, I'm gonna wash your mouth out. That's what you say to your children when they swear or they say something rude. You say to them, I'm gonna wash your mouth out. Oh! Google Translate cheated again. The pot called in the kettle black. So I was completely wrong. Don't know what I'm talking about. But the pot called in kettle black. If it's correct, then we have this expression in English. And it yeah, just means someone who says something and basically they're the same person. You already know what it is anyway. What am I trying to explain to you? Oh, it's easy. You should put like Jake one. Filo. Di pesci, pescinoi, e, i, i, pescinoi. Something about fish. Son of a fish. Son of a fish, goldfish, ant. See, Google Translate is not that smart because I have no idea what that means. Son of a goldfish. Son, son of a fish, goldfish, and Son of a fish, son of a fish. I don't know, someone that's useless, someone's like as useless as a fish, someone that's got a memory of a fish, I don't know. Malamahado, malamahado, malamanhado, 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 malanhado, malanhado, malanhado. So the first time I've heard this word, no idea what it means. <laughs> what? <laughs> in, in Google Translate, it translates as malamamado. I don't know what that means. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Never heard oh. before. Someone sent you. Okay, whoever you sent that, that person down there, whatever your name is, I can't see your name because it's not on screen right now. But you down there, tell me what it means because I have no idea what that means. So para inglés ver. So para inglés ver, only for the English to see. But this is like when we had this in our school. So in school we used to have people that came around to check the standards of the school and the teachers would always say to you we want you to be on your best behavior tomorrow make sure the classroom's tidy make sure that everything looks good and no messing around because the inspectors are coming so this is kind of the same thing right it's like uh when in brazil they say like i don't know maybe something similar to like uh when the world cup was hosted in brazil and yeah they like made sure that it looked good for tourists but you know, they hide all the, the bad things and such and such and yeah, make it look good for tourists. Something similar to that, I assume. Pushy sacco. Pushy sacco. Something about this sounds rude. Pool bag. Close to... <laughs> Close to pool bag? Pool bag, pool bag, pool bag, pool bag, pool bag. Push, pushy sacco. Something about the bollocks. Trans <laughs> translates in English to pool bag which immediately I think of testicles because of this because it sounds like bull bag which is a slang word for testicles but I don't actually know the meaning of it it's something to do with testicles probably not something very nice maybe it's a bad name for someone Ta no inferno abraça o capeta uh, it's in hell hug the devil someone who's just terrible like you're going to hell I don't know no idea what it means and can't really guess because I'm starting to feel delirious. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Kutaka a onka onsa? Is it onsa? Onsa. Kutaka a onsa con vara kota. Kutaka a onsa con vara kota. No idea. Can't even begin to guess. I don't actually know what those words mean. So I'm going to need all the help from Google Translate. Poking, poking, poking the onsa with a short stick and what the hell is the answer oh poke the jaguar with a short stick maybe it means like when you are someone's already annoyed and you're like poking them with a stick you're just annoying them even more something like that next one coma agua na baia jize bebe cerveja i feel like i know this one already maybe i heard it from somewhere else but to hear agua and cerveja together I'm gonna guess that it's something to do with Bahians drinking beer like water. Eat water in Bahia, say drink beer. Let me know if that's right. 
put in the comments. Come a pe ji kashoru. Something about a dog. Dog eating. So, dog eating. What can I do with that? Nothing. Nothing. On to the next one. Don't know what it means. Someone explain in the comments. Let me know. So, next one we have. Kagando e and dando. Shitting and walking. It's awful. Awful thing to say. No idea what that means. Shitting and walking. Shitting and walking is never good, right? Cannot be good. But <laughs> no idea what it means. Pegue, pegue, or beko? Or beko? Pegue, or beko? Translate in English, take the alley. <sighs> what the hell does that mean? Take the alley, pego or beko? Don't know, don't know. It's hard, very difficult. Whoever sent me that one, explain to me what that is. I want to know. Personally, I want you to tell me. From the horse's mouth, as we say, from the one who said it. Da, da, pt, da, pt. Give pt, give Portuguese, maybe? Dunna. Mio, eu estou no chão. Man, I'm on the floor. I don't know, maybe it's when something's really funny and you're so funny you're on the floor laughing. Probably not, but. Or maybe. Next one. Moito areia pro mio. Gamianazino. Gamianazino. Lots of sand for my truck. No idea. No see. Right, so this is the last one, guys. Ele é muito cara de pau. Pau means wood or penis. This guy is a dick. I don't know what it means. But I'm going to put it into Google Translate and see what it says. He is very expensive. What the hell? Doesn't make sense. Ele é muito cara de pau. What does that mean? Google Translate says he is a very expensive. Eli e muito cara de pau. Google Translate, he is very expensive. But I don't know what it means. And see so you guys, that's why you should never trust Google Translate because I have no idea how many of those I got right. Although some of them, it did translate directly into English phrases. So I feel like I could probably trust those ones, but that was only like two or three of them. Um, so that's why I rely on you guys to help me out with these phrases. And that's exactly what you're going to do. So put in the comments and let me know what they all meant. And yeah, I'm going to learn some Portuguese phrases with your help. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next video next week. Um, don't forget to subscribe with a little subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram, Falecon Jake. Ciao.